Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're gonna run functional tests on an API response using chai HTTP 3, uh, the put method. So as a reminder, this project is being built on REPL.IT. We've got an existing project going here. If you haven't set that up, I encourage you to go to the first video in this series. Uh, we are going to test a put request for travelers. Endpoint accepts a JSON object take, taking the structure of surname with, it looks like an array, last name of traveler in the past. Um, maybe this isn't an array. Maybe they're just saying that they're going to be the last name of a traveler. Uh, the route responds with name, first name, surname, and dates of birth, and the years. So we want to see the server code for more details. We're going to send the surname of Colombo. Yeah, it's not an array. We're just, it's just, this is just what they're using as this fill, fill in the blank type thing. So the surname is a string of Colombo. Um, replace assert.fail and make the test pass. Check for the status, the type, the body.name, and the body.surname. Cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to head back over to here. And we ran our tests on the last one, so we can tell that line 128 is actually going to be where we start one. Um, so yeah, we are on our last test, we were around 77. So this is going to be kind of a big one. And I'm going to read through the whole text because I'm just trying to provide some context for this. And I've actually never done this before. So um, yeah, you can see how I do this as maybe a more experienced developer. In the next example, we'll see how to send data in a request payload in the body. We are going to to test a put request, the forward slash travelers endpoints accepts. So, um, you know, let's just see where we're at right now with forward slash travelers. Okay, cannot get travelers, so we need to make a post request. Okay, so get request isn't working, but that's fine. Um, we're going to test put, a JSON object taking the structure of surname. Um, okay, that's just the instructions we had before last. So now we're doing suite, which my guess is is a uh, library from Chai, and we're our te we're testing put forward slash travelers. Um, you know, it's important to put those correctly. It looks like um, if you come down here, yeah, functional test integration test with Chai traveler send Colombo, and here we have uncaught assertion assert dot fail. Um, anyways, um, so yeah, our test is here. We will got our example. Okay, so our example is passing, so that's why it's not being seen here. But here we're um, doing a function of test. So what we're, we're going to find a uh, surname of Polo within our callback function, which is this guy, which is our test. And so we do chai.request, the server. Um, we make a put request to the forward slash travelers. And then we send. So that's the difference here. We've got a send, which follows our put request. And we do surname is equal to polo. Attach the payload, encode it as JSON, and then we end it. And then after we end, we make a callback function. At, we send a callback function in our parameters, uh, an anonymous one, it's not named. Um, send the request, pass a node callback. So we want to assert equal. Here we've got res, we assert that, it's, that, that what we have is equal. And our result from the put request is equal to 200 for a status. So this is correct. This is the way that they wanted to do it. So this is an example of what we want to do. Assert.equal res.type uh, application JSON um, response should be JSON. Okay, so this is how we test for type. And then remember over here, they said we want to do status type. And then it looks like we want the name and the body.surname. And then res.body.name. So the res is equal to the JSON. It's a type of JavaScript. If you go body.name Marco, it should be Marco. And if we do uh, res.body.surname, it's equal to Polo. Um, so where does Marco come in? Uh, perhaps that's already, oh, so we sent Polo, but the uh, response has uh, Mark, well, we sent Marco and the, oh, the body.surname uh, is Polo. So the API, I actually think, maybe the API has Polo in there. So now it's our turn. Make the test pass. We expect the response to be uh, Christopher, Christopher Christoforo, uh, surname Colombo, dates, for whatever. Check the status, the type, name, and surname. Follow the order of the assertions in the preceding example. We rely on it for tests. So Chai, um, that's the framework. We're making a request to our app, and then we're sending a, tr uh, a put to a server, um, and we want to send a surname of Colombo here. So I'm going to actually uncomment this press command uh, comma. And so here we're going to send an object. So the curly braces means an object. And then we're going to say surname. 
and we're going to pass in the surname would be equal to Colombo. Cristoforo Colombo, surname Colombo. And then um, surname Colombo. And then as, at the end, assert.fail. Remove this after adding tests. So we don't want to assert fail anything here, but we do want to assert equal that, well, what do we want to assert equal? The first one that we want to focus on is the status. And so we can say um, res.status is um, equal to um, 200. So 200 is the status of, so let me just check up here to see, make sure I got that. Res.status is 200. So yeah. And then we could pass a string in here too. I'm pretty sure that it's optional, uh, successful API request. Um, and so what was the first thing we wanted to do was we wanted to make sure we've got the right status. We want to go assert dot equal that our res dot type. Is that how you can say it? Res dot type. Yeah. And we want to say, how did they do it up here? Up here, you see application forward slash JS, um, application forward slash JS. And we need to make sure we make that a string because they want it to be in a string. And then uh, we also want to assert the equal um, res dot body, which means I'm pretty sure res dot body means the, um, the response, the JSON response that you get. So body gets you into that object. Now that we're into the object, we want to check for um, name and surname. And we want to check the name should be uh, Christopher, I guess. Cristoforo Colombo. Yeah, the name should be Cristoforo. Now, I'm not exactly sure about this, but let's just uh, stick with it for now. So I'm going to copy that one. And then I'm just going to say, instead of name, surname. And here we're going to say uh, Colombo. Okay, so we're asserting for our status. And actually, I'm just gonna get rid of this because we, it makes it look cleaner. We're checking for status, we're checking for type, we're checking for name, and then we're checking for surname, Cristoforo Colombo. Um, so yeah, now let's uh, stop our server and rerun the tests. Uh, that's an important part because your um, server resetting, if you don't reset the code, then you'll just be checking the old version of your app that was running. And it looks like we passed here. Um, now I'm not sure when sending re response appropriate JSON data when sending that send surname of Colombo. Um, so yeah, our first one that's not passing, it's on line 129, 129. That's res.type application to equal application JS. Okay. So yeah, that's where I made a mistake. Um, it should be JSON, not application JS. Cool. And so all the rest of the tests fails after this one. So we're going to have to stop our server and restart it. So I just made a, a, probably a typo there. Maybe I thought it was application JS. Um, but anyways, we'll run down. We see how the tests are passing. Cool. It looks like uh, it's not working again. So JSON to be equal to application JSON. A P P L I C A T I O N forward slash JSON. Huh. Res dot type. Integrated test with chai HTTP. Now I don't know for sure, but maybe we just need to have a like follow up text here just to make it so that the tests work. Maybe it requires that third parameter for the assert dot equal. Um, so yeah, we'll scroll down here, say it again. Um, it looks like we're still getting the same mistake. So actually I can get rid of that, um, third parameter. We don't need that. I'm just going command Z assertion error, follow expected application to equal application forward slash JSON. Huh? It could it be semicolons. Functional tests, assert equal res dot type, res dot type, 
res.status 200, assert equal, assert equal res.type, response should be JSON. Did I make a mistake here somehow? Res.type. Application. Oh my gosh, it was a typo again. Okay, let's stop this guy and rerun it. Um, you guys are probably watching this thinking, finally he found the error. Okay, cool. So, yeah. All right, put our travelers here. Assert.fail. Um, we've gone down to line 40, 144 right now. And so my guess is that line, yeah, this 144 is probably in the next section. And so now we have our, oh, well, we can't really do travelers here because uh, making put requests is requires another tool. So let's just throw our URL. So we get our URL from here. And now that our server is running with the most recent code, uh, we can just say I've completed the tests. Cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next lesson.